Today's activity is Summit Agate. It's really easy to get there. All we have to do is to take your first right, then your first left. I went to Brian Head Agate Field and it was covered by snow and so I decided to come down here and um, found some good agate. So I'm going to come back and show you where it is. When you get to the fork up here, you want to take the right of the fork. Now, some people will take the left. And I've found that there is not much there. But on the right up the mountain here is just a little ways. You can uh, find a lot of pull-offs and you can see that there's been activity. Road. It's pretty curvy. Okay, Sport 50. Let's put some on. Here's my hat. Works really good. And also is waterproof by um, Dwarf Man Pacific. Great hats. I use uh, these gloves. They, they last a little while, but you can tell they, they kind of they wear. But you know, you're picking up rocks constantly for hours, so you want to protect your fingers. I use two pockets, so when it gets heavy, I can offset the weight from both sides and then I can carry it up the hill better. But until I need two buckets, I just put them together. Let's go look for agate. So you can tell you're at the right place when people start leaving little piles of agate around. Probably didn't make it into the bucket. Well, it's really fun to bring kids out here. It's really ex exciting to find something really pretty on the ground. And there's Gus. And Lola. And that's Madison. She decided to stay at the car because she's just wearing flip-flops. Here's one, right here. So what I'm looking for is uh, an agate that is um, full, full uh, larger size, round, doesn't have any cracks, and it's pretty. This one has a pretty good um, pattern, so I, I'm gonna keep this one. The agate here is strewn about when um, I found some uh, by Windover that has a vein going up the side of the mountain. But here, you kind of just search around. It usually just pops up. The sun's going down a little bit, so I think it's not as bright, but I think we'll find something if we look hard enough. It's always fun. Just look around, spot something. Now don't, don't be mad if I miss something. It's always possible. <laughs> Try not to go down the hill too far either, because <laughs> I have to bring them all up. I haven't really found anything here.
one. But I try to uh, avoid the ones that have holes in it and places where the grip will be stuck and, and uh, will transfer into the next load. So you don't want anything that has lots of holes or crevices. This one's porous, it has some cracks in it. I really don't think that's agate yet. Oh well, yeah, but I don't think it's formed into agate. White, not my color. asking why I'm not picking more of this stuff up is because I've been here I'm looking for the gorgeous pieces. Oh what that's gorgeous. Oh here's another one. Oh I think about When I come out here, I like to go when the sun's right above. They are so brilliant. They're just sticking out like sore thumbs in the rocks. A little bit harder to find right now. Ooh, this is exactly what you want to look for. Some runoff. Look at that, doesn't that just stick out? No cracks, nice and red, pretty, oh. Someone's been here before. Look, there's another one. They left me that one. What are you doing? <laughs> Lola, Lola. Someone's having fun.
Deus. back and rinse it off and see what that looks like well I'm gonna keep looking and I'll show you what I got the further you go away from your car the more agate you're gonna find you can go a little, a little bit further you're gonna find some, some really good samples so this one, I think I'll cut it right here. I think this mountain used to be huge. Usually agate runs in a vein, but as you find them like this, laying around, you'd think that the mountain crumbled and deposited the agate around, and it's the hardest substance, and so it keeps longer than the rest. Ready, huh? What do you think you could do with that? Huh. Pretty. There we go. Here's for Summit. This is, the, this is the hallway for today. Happy hunting guys.